Well, April, of course, is Earth Month, and we can think of really no better way to honor our planet than to sit down with the conservation legend and UN messenger of peace, Dr. Jane Goodall. Dr. Goodall was just in Miami giving a lecture at FIU, inspiring hope through action. But before she took the stage, she spoke with me about how South Florida must step up and do its part to save our natural world. Here's tonight's Don't Trash Our Treasure. I climbed into the hills. This was where I was meant to be. You really have lived a most extraordinary life. Yes, I have, <laughs> totally. She was just 23 years old. British-born Jane Goodall arrived in Africa for the first time in 1960 for an adventure that would consume her entire life. If you could go back and speak to that 23-year-old, what would you say to her? Oh, I'd just say, just do what your heart tells you to do. Carry on and don't stop. And she hasn't let up since, sending science into a tailspin in 1962, when in the forest of Gombe in Tanzania, Goodall became the first to observe wild chimpanzees making tools from twigs to get food. Did you know what an earth-shattering moment you just witnessed? No, of course not. But I wasn't <clears throat> surprised to see the chimps using tools, but I did know that science believed that we were the only tool-using creatures. And you disrupted that. So I disrupted that. No, the chimps did. The chimps did. <laughs> wasn't me. Yeah. Goodall's groundbreaking research changed the way the world looked at the animal kingdom. Humans, not the only species that showed emotion. So I was able to gradually persuade scientists that we were not the only sentient, sapient beings. And she's been fighting for nature and all species ever since, traveling the globe 300 days a year on a mission to protect and restore balance to our planet. How do you do that? Where do you get the energy? You know, it's two things, really. I get energized by the audiences, but then how I do it is because I must. Being given certain gifts and I better jolly well use them. Dr. Jane Goodall. And she uses those gifts every day. In South Florida Friday, she addressed a sold out crowd of 3,400 at FIU who came to be inspired by this champion of conservation. She welcomed them with a chimpanzee greeting. But her message was serious and urgent. What people have to understand is we are actually part of the natural world and we depend on it for food, for water, for the air we breathe. And this is what we're destroying. And that means if we carry on doing that, we will destroy ourselves. Goodall believes we still have time to slow down climate change and stop the massive loss of biodiversity. It is the youth who give her the most hope. It's the young people, once they understand the problems and we empower them to take action. The resilience of nature, give nature a chance and she'll come back to places we destroyed. Animals on the brink can be given another chance and hopefully your Florida panther will have another chance because people are working to say, no, we're not going to let this beautiful creature vanish. Conservation is at the core of Roots and Shoots, a global program Goodall created for kids from preschool to university that engages them to find solutions to create a better world. It's now in 68 countries and counting. Its message is every one of us makes an impact every day and we have a choice and they are becoming champions of the environment. And because we began in 91, we have them out in the big wide world, and they hang on. The main values, respect, respect for each other, for nature, for the environment, and compassion. Goodall's light is leading the way. She turned 89 Monday and has no plans to slow down. What is your birthday wish? So I always say, if you want to reach the moon, you've got to aim for the stars. So I aim for the stars and say, I want Roots and Shoots program in every country. We'll make that happen. Happy birthday. Thank you. An extraordinary woman. Right now there is no Roots and Shoots program in South Florida, but one is in the works. Watch this space, I'll keep you posted. Meanwhile, Dr. Goodall is challenging all of us to start with one thing. Find the one thing that you can do every day to help our planet, whether it's a beach cleanup or stop using plastic or reducing your carbon footprint. There's something we can all do 
every day. For more info on the Jane Goodall Institute and tips on what you can do to show love for our Mother Earth, scan that QR code. It'll take you straight to the Don't Trash Our Treasure section on local10.com. Wow. Oh, wow. Lucky you, I know. you got to sit down and talk to her. I know. The crazy thing was that she was 23 years old. She didn't even have a college education. She went there with no, not knowing anything and right. just fell into it. And just that just created her destiny, I her mean, path. Yeah. What and she a, hasn't and stopped ever what since. A path. What, a path. what a path indeed. <laughs>